running with the uh, production as well as the marketing of uh, shirts. Okay. Then you mentioned two way of uh, stock. First one is called base stock, some around uh, 100 uh, shirts. And throughout the year, to maintain the sales in, a, in your firm, then you will maintain some uh, 1000 uh, shirts of the current uh, inventory. And you start planning that in the next year, there will be a sales of only 975. How much? Uh, 975. Then in the base, uh, you will maintain instead of 100, you will maintain only 25 as a base. Then you predicted that in the next year, in the coming year, there will be a not 1000 shirts going to sales. Uh, going to be mixed sales, only 975 shirts may going to sales in the sense you will decrease uh, some amount of uh, stock here, the base stock. Then the remaining, the 75 will be accumulated in your hand. Then that is called planned uh, accumulation of uh, inventory. It means you already planned that some of the shirts or some amount of uh, shirts will not going to make sales then you have planned already that 75 will be the stock then that is called planned uh, accumulation of uh, shirts okay on the opposite side of it if you are planning that due to the good trends in the market due to the financial favorability in the market there will be huge sales in the next year due to a number of festivals or any kind of programs and all if there is a trend has been increased for the wearing of shirts and all then you will maintain the same thing base are 100 and the current has a 1000 out of the 1000 if a sales has been increased more than 1000 then for example sales has been done 1050 then it means that you have sold entire 1000 uh, shirts but remaining 50 you have taken uh, from the base so here the base stock has been decreases uh, from 100 to uh, 50 because the present sales has been increased from uh, 1000 to 1050 then this is decreases the amount of stock then this is called decumulation of inventory this is called a decumulation of a inventory are we clear it means simple you are planning that in the future if the sales not going to increase there is a downfall of sales then there is a stock will get a increases in the future you are predicting that sales going to increase when the sales start increases stock got a decreases then this is called planned decumulation of a Inventory. Are we clear? Then another version is there which is exactly opposite of this thing. Then that is called unplanned accumulation and unplanned uh, decumulation of inventories. Now coming to the first one. Unplanned accumulation and uh, decumulation. Of inventories unplanned okay you didn't plan but something has happened beyond your uh, imagination then that is called unplanned accumulation and uh, decumulation of inventories for example you go through the same example you maintain two types of uh, stock one is called uh, base stock and next one is called uh, current uh, stock in the current stock you maintain some uh, 1000 shirts in the base you will maintain some 100 shirts as you are engaging in the uh, production as well as the marketing of uh, shirts okay but in the market due to pandemic issue pandemic in the sense the corona effect sales has been decreased sales what uh, decreases you predicted that the 1000 will be the uh, current stock 1000 uh, may go into uh, sales in the year but out of the 1000 in the current stock, you have sold only 600 shirts. It means there is an outflow of stock only 600, and remaining will be 400 plus 100 uh, base stock. Then this one will be the the total will be 500 will get an uh, unplanned accumulation which you didn't plan. Okay, no one got planned that this kind of a corona effect will uh, affect your stock. 
and that leads uh, there is an accumulation of uh, inventories in your board on and uh, showrooms then that will be a huge problem so just check it on to the northern side of firms and the uh, number of uh, textile mills and all okay they have planned that this will be the huge amount of uh, supply going to increase our sales going to increase in this year all of a sudden due to the lockdown everything got reversed then the stock got uh, accumulated stock got piling up okay Uh, with the huge amount of dust and a uh, less market price then the other thing which is not planned one that, that is called unplanned uh, accumulation of a uh, inventory are we clear is that clear so the same thing is happening now now coming to the second one the another version then that is called unplanned uh, decumulation the things which we didn't plan all of a sudden there is a decrease of stock in the inventory then that is called unplanned uh, decumulation of inventory now come to it again you maintain some uh, 100 as a base as a stock then current the stock as a 1000 all of a sudden due to the good trend in the market okay due to the financial availability in the market sales have been increases from 1000 to uh, 1080 okay sales have been increased from uh, 1000 shares to 1080 and the current you have only 1000 as a stock but remaining 80 you have taken from the base then the base stock the will decrease from 100 to 20 because 80 has been so the same thing is happening with the medicines sanitizers or any kind of a normal medicines and all due to the huge okay which is not planned one, every medicine and drug company they are concerned with the some amount of drugs and medicines okay due to the sudden effect of this pandemic issue or covid 19 there is a huge demand for the masks and sanitizers and other uh, helmets and all okay then this leads shortage of uh, supply because due to the heavy demand sales got increases then uh, stock got the uh, decreases which is normal is not at planned okay then this is called unplanned uh, decumulation of uh, inventories same thing will happen in the case of economic situations economic situations stands here the inflation deflation hyperinflation and uh, stagnation among these conditions if a government is not planned regarding currencies regarding food grains regarding medicines regarding some equipment and all then all of a sudden if there is a trend reverse in the market of sales then the stock will pile up will increase then that is called unplanned uh, accumulation of uh, inventories all of a sudden there is a good demand or forced demand or necessity of different goods or uh, precautionary measures and all like for example that the issue then mean time there is one problem arises then that the problem is called unplanned uh, decumulation of uh, inventories as like uh, there is a huge demand in case of in starting days of uh, april and may huge demand for the masks and sanitizers okay people used to go for a different uh, things as a sanitizer but in reality that is not a uh, approved one now this is because the government is not planned of maintaining certain amount of stock all of a sudden there is a huge amount of demand for the hospitals right so hospital have been filled with n number of uh, corona patients even they are using schools large hotels motels as a quarantine uh, spot then this is because of there is a huge decrease in the amount of uh, hospitals there is a huge decrease in the availability of doctors there is a huge uh, uh, demand uh, for the required uh, dosage still there is no medicine for uh, corona and people getting a uh, uh, so cure then that is another story the other thing we will discuss in the later uh, part now the point is very simple in a country country has to maintain the food grain stock medicine stock okay the required number of road bridge and schools college hospitals okay libraries games okay grounds everything if the government is not planned in a such a way that what is an actual application part of it then there will there will be accumulation of these uh, inventories if a government is not planned way that what will be the future demand depend upon the different uh, marketing research and all then there is again there is another problem will arises then that is called a decumulation of inventories so you can ask your parents and all uh, one or two months before 
there is a huge demand for the hospitals because of the corona patients are uh, getting piling up and the government is helpless of providing the required hospitals and the beds and people have been uh, uh, slammed on the grounds in the different government hospitals and all that uh, the thing you can uh, observe on uh, youtube and all okay i hope you people got understood this is a concept which deals with all these uh, issues in the next session we will concern with the gdp differential okay if there is any still down she can uh, ask now and wait for two more minutes and take the uh, attendance okay uh, is there any doubts anyone no okay so wait for two more minutes i'll take attendance okay Uh, wait for it i'll take uh, attendance for a uh, two more minutes okay but tomorrow i'll want to give a notes part i want you to maintain separate notes for it okay already you people are maintaining a separate notes for the micro and macro and, uh, and you need to maintain separate notes for it uh, at any cost okay no need of showing to me then that will be given as a reference for you people and uh, there is no requirement that you need to give that notes to me again uh, to take the photo soffit you maintain for your reference purpose okay and uh, when there is an offline uh, class starts and i'll going to check uh, all uh, amount of uh, the notes from your side okay and thank you so keep in touch with the same thing and uh, we'll uh, discuss the same point uh, on the rest point by the next uh, session thank you one and all thank you sir